Pseudohyperaldosteronism is a condition that clinically presents as hyperaldosteronism. Sufferers will appear with hypertension, which is elevated blood pressure, as well as muscle weakness due to potassium loss. Aldosterone is a mineral corticoid hormone produced in the adrenal cortex. It's secreted in response to angiotensin II binding to its AT1 receptors in the last stage of the RAS system, which is initiated by the hormone renin, converting angiotensinogen to angiotensin I, which is quickly formed to angiotensin II by the enzyme ACE. Aldosterone binds to mineral corticoid receptors in the nucleus of principal and alpha intercalated cells of kidney nephrons. Here, it upregulates transcription of transporters that increase sodium reabsorption from the tubular lumen and potassium and proton excretion and loss into the urine. In pseudohyperaldosteronism, the mineral corticoid receptor is overstimulated in the absence of aldosterone. This occurs due to the block of an enzyme in kidney cells called 11-HSD2 that converts cortisol to cortisone. The 11-HSD2 inhibition may be caused by many factors, including the genetic deficiency of the protein or, interestingly, by licorice ingestion. Licorice is metabolised to glycinotyric acid, which inhibits the 11-HSD2 enzyme and results in inappropriate stimulation of the mineral corticoid receptor by cortisol. Cortisol is secreted at high levels in normal function, but will lead to excessive water retention and hypertension if not converted to cortisone. The endocrine pattern of pseudohyperaldosteronism will have low aldosterone and low plasma renin activity because the kidney's juxtaglomerular apparatus detects the increase in blood pressure and slows down the RAS system as a negative feedback loop on renin.